Four ministers, Rafael Magezi, Penny Mugwanya, Dr. Chris Bariomunsi, Peter Ogwang, and the Deputy Attorney General, Jackson Kafuzi, are in charge of food distribution in the five Kampala divisions of Nakawa, Rubaga, Kawempe, Central, and Mach India. Each one is assigned a division in Kampala to do what we call support supervision. These ministers are doing support supervision in the distribution Theirs is to give policy and political guidance to the technical people who are heading the operation. Government appointed the food distribution teams headed by ministers recently. The committee members have pledged to ensure the exercise moves on flawlessly. We want to assure you that we are doing uh, all we can to serve our people and that we are doing it uh, with the best time possible. As government strives to feed the vulnerable people, political sentiments continue to pop up and it's upon this backdrop that the committee members have cautioned the political leaders and the public against politicizing the initiative. We are all ministers and by being a minister, we serve every part of this country. So there are a few elements who are trying to begin again, trying to politicize the exercise. I want to call upon you, let's first remove politics out of COVID. We are here to save lives. We may not reach everybody because this is not food for everybody. It is for the vulnerable people. And I think the LOCs have helped us. And I want to appeal to you, local council leaders, continue to help us sort out who are the people supposed to access this food. With an additional 21 days of lockdown and the early beneficiaries allegedly running short of food stock, what is their fate? Just to be fair, let's tackle those who have... Are, while some of them have got, there are those who have not got since the lockdown started. So they have just been really... You can say it's like a gamble really to survive. We must address them. Government had initially planned to cater for at least 1.5 million vulnerable persons in Kampala. However, the number is estimated to be higher than 2.5 million people. This therefore calls for more resources and additional manpower to avail food to the needy. Dennis Igor for UBC News. Here we'll feed two bags.